make us do gun work because we can. Because we're better at it than most. You're as good as Virgil with a gun? I've never seen anybody as good as Virgil. I'm a new city marshal. You're a dead man. Looks like you made your first mistake, Cole. I bet 85% of the dialogue's right out of the book. I mean, that's the, one of the reasons I wanted to do the film in the first place. I just fell in love with the relationship and the way these guys are with each other and the way they talked. And Mr. Cole, Mr. Hitch, we want our town back and we are ready to pay your price. What do you allow, Everett? What we do. It is, ain't it? There's no gimmicks, really. It's pretty unapologetic. It's about a time and place that was a little more direct. You know, people communicated with each other in person, basically, because they had to. You shot three of my men. Matter of fact, I only shot two. Mr. Hitch shot the other one. Well, it was interesting to play a guy who went out west playing by the old rules, which is that you shot yourself out of trouble. Or shot yourself into trouble. Or <laughs> shot yourself into trouble. Well, on the cusp of when law was coming out west. And I didn't want him to be uh, simply a, some kind of physical threat, you know. Uh, Although I am, of course, a big physical yes, threat. Yes, de definitely. Your boys do like the bylaws say, everything will be muy bueno. And if they don't, I arrest them. And if they don't go along, I shoot them. Or Mr. Hitch does. One of the things that stays with me is the work that we did on the look of the town. We moved buildings, we changed them, we brought in trees, that there was not a growing thing in this place. Now, everything was well thought out. You really felt like you were there, you know? I mean, it was really fun. Step on in the office with that eight gauge. First anything happens, you blow Mr. Brack's head off. Yes, sir. We'll take him if we have to. If you do, he'll be dead. We know you're good, Cole, but you're not as good as 20 of us. You know the arrangement, boy. We'll kill you and Hitch. You'll try. You've got to find the right hat. Yeah. It's just an individual thing, you know? We are probably all three of us. I can't imagine how many different hats we probably try on. It'd be pretty a pretty defining moment, actually, to find your hat. That's extraordinary in the West. I remember I met, saw this guy in a bar. We were talking or something, and I said, hey, that's a great hat. And I touched his hat, and he said, don't touch the hat. <laughs> I mean, it's like getting someone by the balls if you touch their hat. You just don't do it. 